Back in December, I traveled to Belgium for the opening of the exhibit showcasing Aggie service in World War II. One of the five Ags memorialized is Tony Leonard, a Medal of Honor recipient killed in 1944. While his body was eventually returned, Leonard's Aggie ring went missing for decades, and the fact that it was found is amazing enough. What happened today takes this extraordinary tale to another level. This is a story about how one Aggie ring became two, how one ring returned became one earned. It starts at the German-Belgian border in 1944, where thousands of Americans lost their lives in the Hurtgen Forest, one of World War II's bloodiest battles. 23-year-old Tony Leonard's life ended there, his bravery leading his platoon, earning him the nation's highest honor. The Aggie's body wasn't found until five years later, and his Aggie ring wasn't with it. Two years after the battle, a 15-year-old had been one of many Germans employed by the U.S. to search for American bodies. He found a ring. The Americans had left by then, so his mayor's message to him? Keep it. Okay, and that's what he did. Um, he kept it in a box, uh, put this box in, in a closet, and there it was. And there it stayed for 55 years. Volker Lossner, a German army officer, married that man's daughter. It was in the year 2000, in November, um, he recalled this box and the ring when I saw inside that there was a name in it. So I immediately asked my father-in-law, wouldn't you mind if we try to give this ring back? In a matter of weeks, Volker and others traced the name to Texas A&M. He came to the U.S and the ring came home. I have come a long way to honor the memory of a brave son of this country and graduate of this university. The story ends here. Everyone is more than happy. The family is happy. Texas A&M is happy. My father-in-law was happy giving back the ring, but... <laughs> Because of what Volker had done for A&M, A&M embraced him and his family. Aggies went to visit Germany. The Lostners came to visit Texas. In 2007, um, they put this idea into the brain of my sons. <laughs> and as they learned to know Texas A&M um, in 2007 and learned to know about the tradition and, and everything, they seemed to be infected. <laughs> infected with the idea that this was the place to be. I'm getting a bachelor's in accounting and a master's in marketing within five years. And what about package you found there? I'll be interning this summer in New York City in management consulting, and I'm hoping to uh, start my career uh, in the same profession. Meet Sebastian Lossner, fighting Texas Aggie class of 2016, just about eight years old when his dad took the Leonard ring home. I really didn't know what was going on. He also really didn't talk about it much because it was such a short period of time. Um, I just knew, okay, he left for a week to go to America. Sounds great. About two years or three years later, some alumni visited us in Germany. And at that point, I kind of realized, okay, this, this was actually a big deal. Even though I was still very young, I uh, understood, okay, there's, there's something in the making. That something was Aggie alums willing to help Sebastian if he wanted to come to College Station, and he did. But I was convinced by the day I just stepped on this campus in 2011, because college was just on my mind at the time. It was so close to my graduation. I actually come here to the Cadet Center a lot to, uh, you know, to reflect on, let's say, a semester, or reflect on the week. Um, look at the ring, the Medal of Honor, and kind of, uh, kind of reflect on how, how supportive everybody's been, uh, how grateful I have to be for this opportunity. I brought the ring back to the Leonard family and to Texas A&M, and now in 2015, the ring, the ring comes back to my family. And so we are in a, in a, somehow in a circle that is, uh, that is wonderful. It'll be on my, on my hand uh, every day and I'll look at it and I know exactly 
who is, I guess, responsible for, for me being here. I'm not an Aggie, but that deserves a gig I'm right back. That's a great story. And Sebastian's younger brother is at Blinn, trying to go to A&M now as well. Fantastic. Story. Very cool.